Now, I did not mention the passing of Mikhail Gorbachev yesterday, and I should have. He was a great man, and he died in Russia recently at the age of 91. Back in the 1980s, when all of the world was talking about a new Soviet openness, or glasnost, and restructuring there as well, or perestroika, Gorbachev was marshalling his nation into a new era of democracy and liberty. And I've got to say, a lot of the coverage I saw last night, though, was pretty one-sided. Yes, the Cold War ended. It ended because the West won it, by the way. And certainly Gorbachev deserves enormous credit for the part he played. But this wasn't his initiative. This wasn't his doing some unilateral act. The Cold War ended because another leader led the way, because another man decided that US strength, economic superiority and, superiority and, and military might had to be maintained in order to force the Soviets to back down. That man, of course, was Ronald Reagan. General Secretary Gorbachev, if you seek peace, if you seek prosperity for the Soviet Union and Eastern Europe, if you seek liberalization, come here to this gate. Mr. Gorbachev, open this gate. <laughs> Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Yeah, Gorbachev saw that wall torn down. But never forget, it was the great US Republican President Ronald Reagan who made it happen. Without Reagan, none of that history would have happened.